So that's the skeleton of the thing. <clears throat> you can see how I've used the spaces uh, together to sort of build up a bit of a framework. Uh, so those larger holes are obviously going to accommodate the batteries, keep them in line and so forth. Uh, and also the front two uh, stacks of spacers are going to be used as sort of bus bars or conductors if you like. Um, and I'll show you how that works a bit later on. So these are the two bases that I made. Now I've um, reclaimed these connections from an old uh, 3 three by 18 650 battery box, which I'll, I'll show you in a sec. So there's the donor part. That wasn't actually any good for what I wanted. It wasn't um, sitting well enough in the lamp. So uh, I've cut these out. And I've got to confess, not everybody's got access to this, but I, um, my, my other half... Um, works in a factory where they have a laser cutter, so uh, I sent her a, a CAD file and she's cut these out for me. Um, saves an enormous amount of messing around with, uh, you know, hacksaws, coping saws, I don't know what you'd even use, <laughs> hole cutters, all that kind of stuff, you'd be into a whole world of messing about. But it can be done, just a lot easier with a laser, so that's how I did those. And as you see, I've assembled those um, connections from the battery box. Um, I just had to drill a few more, three, half a dozen more three millimeter holes there for the, uh, if I just show you underneath. You just about to see the, uh, the metal of the connections, I've had to push those through. They're kind of rivets almost, they fold back on themselves. So you have to undo those, drill some more holes and shove them back in. And what I'm going to need is some very, very small screws just to hold those in place. Uh, and I've tried ones like this, and they're too big. Can you focus, please? No? Okay. So small you can't focus on them. There you go. Uh, I'm going to have to go even smaller and uh, cannibalise an old mobile phone or something, I think, just to hold them in. So here you can see just a bit of a mock-up with the batteries uh, in place. Um, don't know if you can see, because the wire's black. A bit. Just about here you can see the wire coming from the terminal there and I'm going to put a, a ring connector on there and just connect that into this stack of spaces here. And they're obviously threaded into each other so that it conducts all the way up and down. Uh, so that's going to be negative, likewise that's going to be positive. And then when that slides into the body of the lamp, uh, which I'll show you in a sec. I keep getting my fingers in the lens, sorry about this. So, There's the body of the lamp. So this whole point of this exercise is that, that shape fits pretty neatly into that cavity and doesn't rock, rock around too much or anything. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to have a positive and a negative, and then fairly simple matter. Hopefully, it takes some wires off there into the bulb at the front of the lamp, and that's going to be a permanent installation. Once that's in there, that's going to stay. That's the whole point. Because uh, one of the reasons this battery box didn't really work was that I had to take it. Uh, slide it in and out all the time and I want to recharge the battery which is fairly often, once a week or so having to take this in and out and of course the wires broke eventually so that's what I'm trying to get away from with all this um, so there you go so here's the finished article um, I'm just going to take the lid off like that and you can see the top of the cage there so um it's going to take that out so you can see what's going on. So I don't know how well you can see this, but um, each of these vertical rods has been connected to uh, that's the negative and that's the positive. So, uh, all the way around, in fact, that's negative, the black one. So, each of those vertical rods has been connected to the uh, negative and positive terminal of this battery stack. and via the switch. I've kept the original switch in the, in the top of this unit here. Um, to this 8 watt LED bulb, that's just like a domestic um, low voltage a, um, LED bulb. Um, so you can see how that all goes together. 